Hi, this time we will uh, give a very brief introduction on the use of shaders. So, in this moment I'm visualizing a model that I just loaded and I'm showing the geometry and the information given by the vertex color, in this case, uh, the ambient occlusion. But uh, there are ways to visualize the model in a different way without the need of processing the geometric data. And uh, the most powerful things is, are the shaders. The shaders are essentially very small programs that are directly executed on the graphic processing unit. So they are extremely fast and the quality of the rendering is essentially the same as uh, visualizing the plane geometry. But at the same time, they can provide and calculate interactively very good uh, or, and interesting uh, visual effects. So this is one example. You see that when you call for a shader, uh, a new window opens where you can have a look at the programs which are currently uh, executed on uh, on the mesh and uh, in most of the cases there are also some variables that you can play with in order to improve the appearance of the model. The amount of shaders which are currently available with MeshLab is quite big and it's increasing because they are really useful in especially when you have to present some of the main features of the, of the model and uh, you don't want to have to process directly the geometry. So what are the string, strong and weak points of the shaders? Well, the strong point is that they are extremely fast, uh, they are very flex flexible, uh, and uh, once that you really start uh, experimenting with them, you can uh, always find new ways to, uh, to use them in your everyday work. Uh, regarding the bad points, is that uh, uh, they are essentially visualization uh, related to visualization so that it is not something that you can save uh, with your geometric data uh, even if you find a very nice visualization for your model you cannot save it so the only thing that you can do to uh, obtain the same visualization is to uh, memorize somewhere the value of the parameters of the shader that you change it and uh, so that you can uh, call it again and uh, obtain the same visualization. So also because um, almost all the shaders are view dependent in the sense that the, 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 um, the visual appearance of the model depends on the point of view. So there are not something generic which can be saved in the context of a geometric data. But anyway, they are very useful in a number, to, number of uh, contexts and uh, Moreover, uh, you can really experiment with them freely. Uh, you will not do any kind of damage to the 3D model. So this is just a, a very basic introduction to that. The idea is in the future is to uh, upload some uh, additional tutorials which are related to some of the most useful shaders uh, with respect to any different um, information that you want to stress on your geometries. That's it for now uh, and thanks.